Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to part 5 of the ORSU Road to Top 10. We got my boy Ty Fortress accompanying us. <laughs> They're going to be using a sub DD Gyarados team. Uh, I think Gyarados is a very big threat in UU. Uh, very underrated too. Um, okay, it's not underrated at all. <laughs> Everybody acknowledges it as a huge threat. And uh, it actually can put in a lot of work versus this guy right here. If I can get up a sub, maybe versus Slowking. Hmm. I could definitely see Slurp of 6 only him if I managed to belly drum up. Do I have Memento? No. Uh, shout out to Teal, by the way, for the team. Let's see. Wow. This is a huge threat, and I actually don't switch him too well to Toxic Hook at all. I mean, we can go for the Napoleon because we can get up rocks pretty early. Uh, he does have potential Curse Lax. Uh, we have Subcom Mind Channeler, which actually puts in some work as well. If his Curse Lax is running mono Body Slam, then we get up uh, a sub pretty relatively easily. So we're going to off with Napoleon, uh, just because we can Scald Burn anything. He actually ends up leading off with his Sableye. So I'm actually going to try and Scald Burn that thing because it's more than likely going to taunt and prevent, uh, or attempt to prevent rocks as he does. And uh, again, just going to go for the Scald. Uh, it's doing 44%. I do expect him to switch out into Slow King or Toxic Croak here, but regardless, Scald is just a good play in general. Um, besides the Toxic Croak, uh, we get a potential burn on Slow King, so... Um, Sableye's Recover stalling me. I, I mean, he's at the exact same HP as he was before, so I don't know if I agree with that, as Toxic Croak is going to come out. That's good. Um, I think I... Want to go on to Chandelure? It could have knockoff, I suppose, but regardless, I take Gunk Shot, I take Drain Punch, I think I'm going to go Chandelure. I don't want to go Gyarados just yet, as he goes for the Swords Dance, and uh, what I can do is just go right for Sub, um, Dodge, Sucker Punch, and uh, Fire Blast Oko's, especially because of this ashy skin that this Toxic Oak has, so uh, we are just going to go right for Fire Blast right here. I could have combined it up that way Shadow Ball Oko'd as well, but... Uh, just, you know, assuming I missed, but thankfully I didn't miss as we are able to get rid of the Toxic Croak. That is great. Unfortunately, we do invite an Aerodactyl, and Aerodactyl can definitely go for Pursuit and Trap us, um, which I'm assuming is what he wants to do right here. But I'm going to try and switch on to my Empoleon just in case he doesn't go for that Pursuit. I really want to keep this thing alive, but like he has no reason. There's no reason not to run Pursuit in this meta, guys. Aerodactyl's around, but again, I don't think I could have prevented that. Maybe I could have went for Sub again. Uh, regardless, getting rid of Toxic Croak is great, um, because then I can just spam Waterfall. So we're going to go back out to our Napoleon, and uh, we're going to get up our rocks right now. Um, Aerodactyl does go for the uh, Earthquake, however, they're able to tank that. And what I'm going to do is go right out into my Choice Bandit Crocodile, get off the Intimidate on this Aerodactyl, and uh, actually, I think I want to go for the Pursuit, just to get off some damage on this guy. Yeah. Well, at the same time, I have zero reason not to go for knockoff, I think. Actually, yeah, I have no reason not to go for knockoff, so I'll definitely go for that knockoff. Ooh, we get a crit as well. That is damage. I think we can actually take an aerial ace. Maybe, uh, that'd be iffy. I'm going to go for a double knockoff again. I was thinking about going for Pursuit, but like, I have no reason. Look at his Dark Resist. It's dead so again this is band and knockoff and i could take the next earthquake I, I don't know if he thinks he's choice locked but you are definitely not bro or you weren't or anything but uh we we're able to knock him out with the knockoff uh while keeping crooked out alive which is nice because i can always uh defog away the fortress stealth rock if you choose to get that up he goes out into snorlax um that'll be completely fine because i can just knock that thing off as well uh Garros, again is looking really nice now that aerodactyl's gone um, because Aerodactyl outspeeds Gyarados at plus one, so we'll go out to our Empoleon on the Rapid Spin. Nice, and again, we will just spam uh, Scald right now. No reason not to, at least not that I see. Uh, if we get a burn on Curse Lax, we force it to rest. We do a lot to the uh, Fortress right now, and uh, what I can do is just go for Defog. If he chooses to go for Rapid Spin, predicting my Stealth Rock, then that's great. Then he loses a turn right now. Um, I get off a of defog versus anything anyway, so uh, he does go for Volt Switch, so we get rid of his rocks, which is really nice. Crocodile gets to come back in. I'm assuming Snorlax is gonna want to come out right now. I guess Slow King could as well, but uh, at this point, Fortress is now in range to be swept by Gyarados at plus one. It now goes down to plus one Waterfall, which is what I wanted. Uh, I guess Snorlax can come out again, but I'm gonna scald him just to force him to rest. That way, I can go out into my Slurp Up after Belly Drum Up and win. Fortress also goes down to plus six Drain Punch at this point, so it's looking good. It's looking good. 
Uh, obviously, Snorlax again is still an issue, but I really do think Slurpuff can win, or even Gyarados at this point. Uh, maybe Crocodile, I shouldn't have let him be so low, but uh, Snorlax comes out, and uh, I think we're just going to go for Scald. We're going to force him to rest as he goes right for turn. Is that Curse Lax with return? That's interesting. Uh, again, we're just going to go for Scald and try to force him to rest. Actually, him having return is better for us uh, as he does go for that next curse. Uh, however, we are now in... Uh, however, why did I say it like that? We are now in uh, Torrent Range. So our Scald is doing 31%. That is a huge jump from what it was doing before. Um, so he's either forced to attack me or he's going to have to rest up soon. See, I kind of want to predict this rest and go out into my Slurp Up, but uh, because I think he's Curse Rest Sleep Talk. I mean, it's not the best of plays, so... Uh, he does go right for return, as that is able to um, not knock us out. Now, I do expect him to rest right here, so what I actually want to do is go out into my uh, Gyarados and uh, just start the process of Dragon Dancing up, as he does go for rest. Great. And uh, what I should do first, I think, is go for sub, so we can uh, dodge. Well, what I was expecting to do was dodge uh, Sableyes. Willow Wisp. I wouldn't have gone directly in the fortress right there, but I'll be able to go for Waterfall. He's going to be able to break my sub with the Volt Switch as he does. And uh, regardless, how much is uh, Empoleon on it? Not enough. Well, I can go out to Sceptile after and just spam attack. So Slow King is going to come out. However, not sure if you're going to Psy Shock. What are you going to do to me? I think I'll just go for Sub. I have no idea what he's going to do. He's going to go for Psy Shock. Okay, he goes for Future Sight. I don't know if that goes through Sub. I don't think it does. So, we're going to Dragon Dance up right here. As we are able to take the Hidden Power Electric. Well, that's weird. And, uh... Yeah, I didn't expect that. So, I'll just sack Empoleon then. <laughs> I didn't know this was actually his, uh, his counter. But, I mean, I get to click Knock Off now. So, I'll sack Empoleon. Um, and then I can go Crocodile. Crocodile uh, can obviously take this thing out with the Bandit Knock Off. And he doesn't have a good switch in at all. So, he goes right for Ice Beam. So, that's a good play on his part. Um, expecting me not to stay in with my Gyarados and what I can do is go right for Ben and knock off and this yeah this gets rid of everything now Fortress goes down Sableye will go down because they're special defensive in this tier Slow King will die as well I could go for the uh, Pursuit if I wanted to but again no point at all there's definitely no point in going for Pursuit and if Sableye comes out I can go out into my Sceptile and start spamming attacks versus that so I'm expecting to sack Fortress right here uh, the good thing is, because Snorlax has not burnt any rest turns, I'm pretty sure, let me see, yeah, he has not burnt any rest turns, so, he actually goes out into Lax for some reason, um, okay, I don't know if I agree with that, but, you do you, bro, I don't know if he's two attacks, uh, we can go out to Gyarados, though, and Dragon Dance up now, he is, okay, so he is that way, so what we are gonna do is Dragon Dance up, that way we can knock out Fortress, um, with the waterfall after that as he is not going to get anything and um, what I can do is go right for the waterfall right here uh, it will be a neutral waterfall um, but if he wants to rest uh, I even get a crit so we don't even have to deal with that uh, it's not likes anymore unfortunate for my opponent but Sableye is going to come out and I don't necessarily need this thing anymore so I'm actually going to do is Dragon Dance up on his Will-O-Wisp that way I have even more power and uh, he won't be able to recover up on me and uh, yeah, we'll just be able to spam Waterfall right here. If he wants to go out to Slow King, that's fine. I get to click Knock Off again. So we're in a good position. As he does go for Taunt right now. I guess expecting me to Waterfall on his um, Recover. But I, don't, I didn't need to at that point. So I can just go right for the Waterfall again. Um, he's not recovering enough to be able to beat me 1v1. I even crit him right there. I mean, I would have been able to beat him in a third turn. So um, it's unfortunate, but there was nothing I could do about that anyway. Slow King is going to come out. I get to click Knock Off at any given point now. So... Unless he's Trick Room Future Sight, which I doubt he is. As he's going to be able to knock me out with the Hidden Power Electric. But Crocodile gets to come out. And I didn't even get to show off Slurpuff in this game. I definitely got a little bit... I definitely got pretty lucky. I think my Crocodile crit almost everything on his team. Maybe just one mod. But, um... Definitely the critical hit was more on my side in this favor. Alright, what? In this game, crits were definitely more on my side. But uh, in any case, let's look for another game. Ooh, this team is cool. What is with these showdown backgrounds? I want a custom background. Nice for me. It represents me. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Why is this guy's team so threatening? 
Yeah, Polion's just a great lead. Why doesn't Polion wall everything? <laughs> I'm leading off with it. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, Vivillion's something I expect him to lead off with, but... To be honest... If I force Sceptile to Leaf Storm, I think I can win. With my, uh... With my slurp off, so leads off with his Vivillion. I'm just gonna go for Scald on his Sleep Powder, burn the initial turn of Sleep. Um, unfortunately, I don't have priority on this team, so maybe this wasn't the best course of action. But we're just gonna spam Scald right here as he goes out into Sceptile. Sceptile is not a counter. I'm going to take this as an opportunity to wake up and I get off an Ice Beam. No, that's actually not gonna be the case right there, unfortunately. But uh, Giga Drain doesn't beat me 1v1, so or <laughs> Giga Drain doesn't 1v1 me, so. I don't think he has Focus Blast. I don't know if he has, actually has Focus Blast. Regardless, he wouldn't go for it right now. So I'm going to go out to channel. I want to get up my rocks. Rocks are so important in this game. I'm getting up rocks. Yeah. As he goes out to Darmanitan. So that's great. We bring Vavillion down to 50%. And uh, Darmanitan is going to come out. I feel like he'll Earthquake right here. I'm going to go out to my Gyarados. Because I have Shannon Lure to come in as well. As he goes right for Flare Blitz. Holy crap, that did so much. And... Uh, I think I'm going to double out into my Empoleon, predicting him to want to go out to Drudge Gun, because I do threaten that with the Ice Beam, and I can defog away the rocks. I was thinking about going Sceptile, but that was way too risky. <laughs> I should have made it, though. I should have made the play, definitely. But uh, he is going to glare me. That's fine. I can just follow it up with another Ice Beam, knock him out. And the great thing about this is I can't be put to sleep now by, by a Bavillion, so. But I'm hoping he does his Earthquake with his Armanitan for some reason. Not being a good situation. But he goes Sceptile. He's really trying to get a sub on a Glare Empoleon. I mean, if he gets it, yeah, that sucks, but... Probably is going to get it, but... Uh, actually, this is really bad if he gets it. Yep, there it is. All I can do, though, is Ice Beam and hope he doesn't get another sub. I can't... Yeah, this is this is really bad, actually, for me. This is really bad for me, so... I'll be able to go out to Chandler and go for Shadow Ball and break his sub. I couldn't do anything, though, I think, about that. The Dragon Pulse does not knock me out. I'm able to break his sub. And, uh... I think this is the only thing I could do. Belly drum up and try and win. I have no idea what his last move. I don't know if it's hidden power. If he switches, he loses. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Giga Drain doesn't... Unless he crits me, I'm pretty sure Giga Drain doesn't give him enough. And I could go for Drain Punch from there. And he doesn't have any priority on his team. So, Slurpuff, it is time, my child. No! It gave me exactly 50%, but I mean, I'm faster now anyway, so I can go for play rough and knock him out. But still, <laughs> does this actually just win as a regular slurp up? That's actually really funny. The mana tank comes out, and, uh... <laughs> That's still super funny. I'm just gonna go for a return, do as much as possible, as he's able to knock me out with the Flare Blitz. However, I can go into my Gyarados. Get off the Intimidate, and um, I think Dragon Dance Up is the play. Because Recoil will knock him out. And then my Gyarados, uh, in theory, should be faster than everything he has. In theory, as he goes up to Gardevoir. Doesn't have Trace, so he doesn't Trace my Intimidate. I am faster because I am Jolly Gyarados, so plus one Waterfall. Doesn't knock it out, as Moonblast is able to knock me out. Uh, I have to hope he isn't Scarf Gardevoir. I think... Yeah, I have to hope he isn't Scarf Gardevoir, so I, either way, my best play is just staying in regular form uh, with my Sceptile, assuming he was Scarf Gardevoir right there. I don't know if he's Scarf Revillion as well. He could be the way he played it, or maybe he just switched. I really hope he isn't. I really hope he's the standard Sash. Doesn't even have a... That's just Mega Evolve and hope he's Sash. Nice. Nice. So the reason I stayed in regular form was because I didn't want um, Moonblast to be super effective. And um, now we'll be able to outspeed Haxorus and knock it out the Dragon Pulse. And so we make the comeback in that game. So that was a really weird game. Um, could have went either way, especially with the sub glare. Um, but Gyarados definitely paved way for Sceptile to win. And I hope you guys understand why I didn't Mega Evolve right off the bat. Because if he was Scarf, uh, if he was Scarf Gardevoir, then Moonblast would have been super effective because I had got that Dragon type obviously when I Mega Evolved. So that's why I stayed in regular form. And then I had to go off him not being Scarf anything else. And then try and win from there. But thankfully, it came down. Um, it went the way I wanted to. I just want to calc something. How much Gardevoir does. Gardevoir. This is custom set. Oh, custom set's what I use for SPL. Okay. Septile. You all out offensive. This is not. No, no. no, no. That's regular Septile. Let's use a custom set right there. Yeah, that doesn't do that much. So. We're climbing the ladder. Let's actually see where we are on the ladder right now. 
top 10 is 17.10, and uh, I think we're in the 500-ish. Oh, we'll check in a bit. But uh, this guy's team, ooh, looks pretty weak to... Actually, doesn't look that weak to anything bar Crocodile on my team. Um, it looks weak to Earthquake, like me clicking Earthquake. Uh, definitely looks weak to me clicking Earthquake on my Crocodile. I'm leaning off with it. Have fun, Duddy. Dude, Duddy. I meant to say buddy, and I said dude, and buddy at the same time. Have fun, Duddy. <laughs> he leads off with his Slow King. Um, I'm just going to click Earthquake right here. I am banded, and uh, he has like one switching, which is his Cobalion. I really doubt he'd stay in with Slow King, turn one. Alternatively, I could just make the Saber playing going Napoleon. I can also deal with Cobalion if it gets the plus one, so maybe I should go for knockoff right here, because I do have Chandelure, which pretty much walls it, which does wall it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for I'm gonna go for the earthquake right over. I'm not allowing him to bring in anything as he actually sacks his Absol, so that's great. We don't have to deal with one of those priority mons. Uh, the other one being, of course, Entei's extreme speed. Uh, but Absol being gone means he doesn't get any chip for Slurpuff. Um, as Slowking is gonna come back out, and uh, what I can do is go right onto Empoleon. Empoleon literally has one job this game, and that is to defog and phase. So he goes right for Scald. Like it doesn't wall anything on his team, like except for Slowking. So I'll get up my rocks right here. Uh, rocks definitely help with that Entei putting it in range. Um, also, now that Absol is gone, he really, really, really doesn't like Chandler. Like, switching into Chandler is super hard for him. Uh, so that's great. Um, I think Teal uses team versus a stall team in, in SP if I'm not mistaken. He played that game really well, too. But yeah, like, sub combine, Chandler just does really well versus stall. So I'll get up my rocks right here as he goes for Thunder Wave. Oh man, the yellow color. And I kind of want to double out into my Crocodile. I'm predicting his Empoleon to want to come out to try and defog, but I have no reason not to click Scald. As he actually goes for Psy Shock, so maybe that would have been a good play right there. Um, but again, I still have no reason not to click Scald because I get the potential chance of burning him as he goes on to Empoleon. <laughs> we still get full paired. Uh, we see that he is not Shookaberry though, like I am, so we could take him on. As he is going to defog again, I'm just going to go for Scald and try and burn him because with the fact that I'm paralyzed and. Um, He's now burnt. I'll actually be doing more damage to him like at the end of the turn. So I'll go for rocks right now. As he's going to go for his own. And uh, yeah, we'll just get up our rocks. Like, why not? Um, also, with the burn and rocks factored in in the following turn, he will go down to my uh, he will go down to my knockoff. So uh, Zapdos comes out. I don't want to go out into my Crocodile. I feel like he'll go for air cutter or HP whatever so I'm just gonna fire off an ice beam I guess you could go for volt switch but like I said Empoleon is super expendable at this moment um, it doesn't wall anything he goes for the heat wave right there as we are able to get off a solid ice beam on him ooh that is damage I can respect that as he can go for another heat wave and uh, I really think he's choice but I'm gonna calc that damage team builder ooh he defeated he team preview Snakes, call it CTC. <laughs> Did you guys see what I call my my team versus we came as Romans? We came as Romans and left. Yeah, okay, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm corny, but I don't care. I enjoy myself. <laughs> Didn't mean it that way, but yeah. Okay, so uh, we're gonna calc this. That's two twelve. Yeah, we have no bulk on this at all. So Empoleon, two twelve, Zapdos. Whatever, uh, heat wave definitely not. Let's go. Let's go timid Zapdos. I think he should be top speed for like. So timid choice specs. Yep, that's 100% choice specs. Okay, so a few things I could do here. I could Dragon Dance out with Gyarados, um, but I don't think Empoleon is low enough yet. So I think the only play to do is. Hmm. I want to go out to Septon just Mega, right? Like, why not? It gives me the speed. I mean, I'm already faster than everything, but I have, like, no reason not to Mega right here. So, we're going to Mega Evolve. I mean, I take Heat Wave anyway, even if it was, like, Scarf. But that was 100% Specs damage, just based on the calc. That's Timid Specs. And uh, he cannot switch into this monster at all at this point. So, he's going to sack his Zapdos. That's nice. Doesn't give him a sack for later. Um, if I actually land Focus Blast on Empoleon, I knock it out. Like, 100%. And this is cool because now that I have Mega Evolve, now that I have Mega Evolved, I now have the Lightning Rod, so if he wants to try and T-Wave my Gyarados... Like, I do have Sub DD, but I could also be a little bit more... Um, I can little, be a little bit cooler and go for, like... Uh, 
I do have sub D, like I said, but I could be a little bit cooler. And like, s instead of subbing after a Dragon Dance, I go hard into <laughs> Sceptile. Um, right here, I kind of want to make a play. Like, he knows I have Chandler. I know I have Chandler. We all know I have Chandler. So I don't expect him to actually go for the Sacred Fire. I expect him to go for Stone Edge. Um, yeah, I'm just going to Dragon Pulse. If he's Sacred Fire, that's fine. He doesn't go right for Sacred Fire. However, I can now go out into my Chandler. And uh, I can just Calm Mind up. This thing goes for... That's banded, by the way. That's how he knocked me out. And uh, yeah, I can definitely Calm Mind up right now. Maybe he's going to go Empoleon. Uh, he goes for Sacred Fire to give me the boost. That's even better. So now, yeah, everything dies. Now everything 100% dies. So I'm just going to go for Sub right here. And uh, we are going to win this game. Because look at that boost he just gave me. So he goes Slow King as I am able to Sub up. And uh, Slow King might actually live this just because, I mean, I'm 583 Special Attack right now, which is ridiculous. Oh my god, no. Slow King did not live that. And Sub Combine Chandler is just going to win the game. Uh, if he goes out into Empoleon, he has to choose between knocking me out or defogging. This is, of course, assuming I miss Fire Blast. Um, because Fire Blast will Oko. I have the Flash Fire Boost and a plus one, so Fire Blast will knock him out 100%. So Empoleon goes down, and that means Entei goes down, and Chandler... Uh, Cobalion is like the only Mon there is left, and um, that cannot beat me at all. That cannot beat the uh, remainder of my team. So I'll just go for Shadow Ball, because I don't want to miss. And it's going to do a lot anyway. It's going to do like 80% to this thing. Iron Head doesn't even break my sub, which is why I love Chandler. Oh my god, it actually knocked it out. GG. <laughs> he, put, he put the big jam bad face. Good game, bro. Um, but yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good. Let's keep going. Got another one. This guy's really, really weak to sub my Chandler. Like, extremely weak. I guess he, did that, he does have Haze, my Lodic, uh, which could be an issue. Um, I want to lead off with my Empoleon because if he leads off a Mammoth Swan, I can Scald that. I do have a Shookaberry, so I can tank any one hit. Also get up Rocks versus the majority of his team, Bar Uh I don't know. Let's see what else. Wow, my Lodic is going to be an issue for this team. If it has Haze. I think Standard my Lodic has Haze, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not entirely sure. I'm actually going to check in a new window. Somewhere.com. I know Kari used my Lodic. I'm not the biggest fan of my Lodic, though, in UU. Um... I prefer Suicune. Like, I 100% prefer Suicune. If he has Dragon Tail over Haze, I think Sub DD Gyarados wins. And also, if he has Dragon Tail over Haze, then I think Chandler wins as well. So, you shall see. But I'm going to lead off with my uh, Empoleon because, again, it has that Shooka Berry. And if he leads off a Mammo, I have that chance to. Um, no, if he Sash Mammo, I have the chance to burn him. He leads off of my Lodic, though. So that's cool because I get up my uh, Stealth Rock right here. Yeah, this is a great lead. Empoleon just beats everything on his team. Barcobalion lead. Uh, again, I do have Shookaberry. If that's, I haven't stressed that enough. And that's also why I was fine versus uh, Mammal Swine and things like that. So he goes out into Tangrowth. Uh, he's going to go for knockoff right here. I'm not sure what I want to get knocked off. I feel like I'm going to go Sceptile and then double out into my Chandler on the Hidden Power. So he goes for knock. And I'm actually going to double out into my Chandler on uh, a Hidden Power. Is what I'm expecting right now. Or a Florgy switch. Either of those would be great for me. So I expect him to either go for a hidden power right now, knowing he could take any one hit because he's more than likely a salt vest. Or I expect him to go for Florgus. Um both of which would be fine, so. Let's see what he decides to do. Well, Shannon Lures, he does go Florgus, great. And what I can do is actually calm mind up first. That's just the best play overall. Um, I want to be able to hit that Milotic with a plus one Shadow Ball before he potentially hazes me. As he goes for Moonblast. Why? Okay. No idea why he made that play, guys. But I'll be able to click plus one Shadow Ball now, and now I get to switch. Like, you have to take into account that I could be subcom mine. I think... Zeph... I, I, or Zeph47, that's your name? I don't know. Um... Regardless, now I'm, I have a, a spec Chandler coming in, and that is definitely special defensive. But we're going to sub right here on his recover, and then we'll be able to calm mind up again. We'll see if he has Haze. We'll see if he has Haze by doing so. Um, we know he's special defensive, 100% special defensive, though. Look how little he took from that. So we can click knockoff. Um, but, yeah, we can definitely take him on. Let's see if he has Haze. So he does go for Miracle. Okay, that's cool. It's interesting. I mean, I get to boot up uh, another <laughs> Calm Mind right now. I sound like I was turning on my computer that turn. 
So I definitely don't think he has, uh, I definitely don't think he has Miracle and Haze. So I'm going to go for another common line. Um, because the next one means that his Skull won't be able to break my sub. At the same time, I kind of want to go for Shadow Ball right here because I think he's going to go for Skull again. I'm going to go for Shadow Ball or whatever. Yeah, we're going to go for Shadow Ball. If he goes for Miracle, he goes for Miracle. He doesn't go for Scald. I didn't want to risk a crit or anything right there, but getting rid of my Lodic is so big for Gyarados. Um, I will definitely take that. And he has nothing that wants to come in on plus two. Kabalion goes down, Mamoswine goes down, uh, Tangrowth is 2 a KO, Salamence goes down, Florgus is just sub combined up on, so... Ah... Uh, I can respect that. I can respect that. I'll take that. Ooh, Woofy... Woofy, uh... Click is hitting me up. No. Alright, so what is he gonna do? I guess he's just gonna sack my Lodic right here? I mean, I'll take that too. I want Slurpuff to do something. I think Slurpuff is so good in any in Yu-Yu. I think it's like so um, underestimated um, in this tier because ah, oh, this thing's so good, especially if you get like a, a, a Memento into it. Like, I love using Memento Shane Allure with it. I think it's it just has so many opportunities to sweep. Especially like versus my opponent's team. Look at that. He has one form of priority in Mammal Swine. All you gotta do to beat my opponent's team is like burn Tangrove and then you win. And maybe get like 20% damage on Kabalion. But thankfully uh, we are able to knock out that thing and I guess he's gonna go out into his Salamence now? Maybe? Question mark? I wouldn't go Kabalion. Obviously, I'll speed you unless you have Stone Edge. I mean, I've run Stone Edge in this meta just because of Gyarados, but I think that was earlier on in the meta um, that you would run that. So I don't think he has Stone Edge. Uh, he can't go Tangrowth. He can't go Florigus. Uh, if he wants to risk Mammal Swine, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely mis risk Mammal Swine right now. You know what? Because this is a speed tie. We are both. I'm timid. He's Jolly. 284 speed. If you want to go Mammal Swine right here, I will win this speed tie. I will hit you with a plus two Shadow Ball, and your Mammal Swine will go down. Plus, rocks are up. Ooh. His defogger is Salamence. Oh, okay. Okay. So you feeling real? You feeling... Why? Why do I lose to Florida if I don't win this speed tie? <laughs> I'm a man. I'm going to lose this speed tie, though. I know for a fact I will. Ah, this is tough. I want to risk it because I'm a man. The smart play is going Gyarados and then doubling into Empoleon, though. Like, that's the 100% smarter play. But I'm a man, so we're clicking Shadow Ball. Ah, that was decided right there. <laughs> nice. So now Sai is gone, which means no priority for him. If Salamence wants to revenge kill me, I Dragon uh, Dragon Ends. I uh, Belly Drum up on Salamence, which is why I'm not too scared about that. Besides having a Steel type with a Shookaberry, uh, Intimidate on Gyarados and Crocodile, and also a Fairy type, like I'm not worried about Salamence at all with this team. Um, because I can always pivot. I can do the Coco Loco strategy of beating a Salamence and uh, pivoting back and forth. Uh, but we are going to get another battle. 28 minutes. We're doing good. We're doing well on time. I like this team. Subcom Mind Chandler is putting in work, yo. Chandler is just putting in work. I love it. I love it. All right, so we'll look for one more. My boy Ty Lopez is like, you know what I like more than Pokemon Showdown? Knowledge. And I can respect that. So this guy has a team that's very weak to uh, Subcom Mind Chandler, actually. A subcom Mind up on Blissey. I knocked this thing out with like plus two fire blast. I beat Entei, I beat Fortress. Suicune is the biggest threat. Of course she is. She's my favorite Pokemon. So I'm gonna lead off with Empoleon just because it's just a great lead in general as he leads off with Crawdont. Um, not the best lead actually versus this guy, but I wanna get up rocks because I can spin block them with my Chandelier. Rocks mean that Azelf's potential sash is gone. Um, breaks Fortress is sturdy. I don't think he'd go for superpower. I guess he could. I don't have a good Crawdont switching with this team at all. Yo, if I get rid of Entei, I just win with for uh, with Slurpuff. Also, if I get rid of Fortress, obviously. So, hmm. kind of want to go Crocodile. What is this the actual Pokemon? Indeed. I kind of want to go Crocodile right here because otherwise I don't have a good switching. But I want to get the Intimidate. This is tough. Crocodile's so useful too because he spams Earthquake or Knockoff. I'm just gonna go for. Yeah, I'll go for my Rocks. Is that is a fun. Uh, that is life orb, like ridiculously life orb. But I can go for Scald now. 
if he wants to switch. A, a Crawlin just put itself in range of plus one Fire Blast, so we take that. Um, I can now go out into my Sceptile and uh, honestly just double out into my Chandelure. Like he has one switch in and that is Blissey or Fortress, so he should not stay in and go for a double knockoff right here as he goes out into Blissey. And uh, what I can do is go for Sub just in case he wants to go for a Thunder Wave or Toxic. As he has Shadow Ball, the one Blissey in the world that can potentially beat me. So we're going to switch on to our Crocodile just in case he wants to reveal the uh, Thunder Wave right now. As he goes for another Shadow Ball, also we resist that. That was you know, kind of obvious right there. And what I can do is go right for a Bandit Knockoff um, as Suicune is going to come out. So that's great. We get rid of Suicune's item early on in the game. Um, that's Crocoon as well, just looking at that. So we're going to go out to Sceptile right here if he Combines up. Uh, I do have Leaf Storm so that does beat him after a Combine as he goes right for Scald. And uh, we're just going to Mega Evolve and go right for Giga Drain. I don't mind Blissey coming in uh, because at that point, Suicune now goes down to Bandit Earthquake after Rocks uh, and he has no recovery. So again, uh, Blissey is going to come out. The fact that his Shadow Ball is huge. What the hell, man? But I can go out to my Crocodile. As he goes for Toxic. Okay, so he does have Toxic. That's good to know. And uh, again, it's going to go for a knockoff again. It will 2 a KO Blissey, uh, it 2 a KO Suicune, uh, even without an item. So I'm fine with him sacking his Suicune right there. I'm definitely faster too. I'm Jolly. We already know he's Crocoon, um, which is Rest Talks Coon, just based on, the, uh, based on the damage that we did. So we're able to get rid of Suicune. So no Suicune sweeping me. Um, I'm thinking we're going to go for the Gyarados sweep in this game though. Fortress is going to come out. What I can do is go right out into Chandelier. If he is a random Fortress with Earthquake, that'll be bad. He does go for Vault Switch to keep my momentum. Good play on my opponent's part. I can definitely respect that. As Krata is going to come out. However, however. Yeah, this is a problem. <laughs> if he goes for Knock right here, I'm in an issue. I'm in a bad situation. Um, I really do think I win with DD Gyarados, but I need to be careful. Um. I can't risk switching in on Knock. I think we're just going to sack Chandler. I mean, uh, Slurpuff, excuse me. Uh, with the fact that he has all this priority, um, I don't think he's going to be doing what I want it to do. And uh, we'll just go for Drain Punch right here. Yeah, it's, Slurpuff is always going to be the uh, the sack, I think. I wanted it to sweep him because I think it does have a lot of potential. But between Extreme Speed, which could be Banded, uh, Cardon's Aqua Jet, and Fortress, the fact that it's so fat. I don't think we would have a chance to, but if he does choose to switch out the Fortress, that's great because it still gives me the opportunity to save my Slurp Buff, switch out into Chandler, and um, again, save my Slurp Buff as Death Fodder for the next time that uh, Krona decides to come out. Uh, Aqua Jet does knock me out, I think, if he wants to go for it. I'm pretty sure, maybe. I, it doesn't, I'm, I'm going to calc it, but I'm, I'm, look at the resisted knockoff damage. Pretty sure it knocks me out. What the hell? No, I want that set that's always there. I don't think he's Jolly. I think he's Adam. I mean, he should be Jolly. I, I like Jolly. But Aqua Jet does knock me out. However, what we can do now is go into um, Sceptile and uh, I want to double out into my Crocodile for the umpteen time and click Knock Off. Really want to make this play. At the same time, do I need to? I don't think I need to. I'm just going to go for Giga Dream. I don't want him to predict me to double. Actually, I have zero reason not to go for Dragon Pulse right now because I don't want Entei coming in. He goes out to Azelf, so that's great. Uh, that thing does not go down, unfortunately. Um, if he Scarf Azelf, Dazzling Gleam does not knock me off from full, so I'll just go for Giga Dream right here. That's perfect. We're able to knock out Azelf. That was his ground immunity, so now we can click Earthquake as Blissey is going to come out. The threat. And I'll just go out to my Crocodile. Again, I get to click Bandit Earthquake at this point. That did a lot, however, however, like I said, I get to click Bandit Earthquake. At the same time, I could just knock him out, knock him off. Because he's toxic in Shadow Ball, I, I Gyarados sits up on him, at least once. So I'm actually going to knock him off, um, because one, I think Bandit Knockoff uh, knocks out Crawdon. It also should knock out Entei after Rocks, and uh, I want Fortress's item to be gone. Yeah, 100%. Uh, alternatively, I could just go for a Bandit Superpower, but I just really want Fortress's item to be gone. And I wouldn't mind Melissa's item being gone as well. So he stays in to knock me out with Seismic Toss. However, what I can do is go out to my Shannon Alert and um, go 
go for Calm Mind on uh, what I'm expecting to be a Shadow Ball or a Soft Ball. That's great. That's great. And we can just sub up right now. I believe. I don't think Shadow Ball breaks our sub, does it? It does, unfortunately. What the hell? We're going to comment up again, expecting Shadow Ball again. As he goes for Toxic. So he gets me right there, unfortunately. Wow. This thing is such a threat. So, we'll go to Gyarados on the, um, on the Soft Ball right now as he goes for Shadow Ball. Gets a Spadef drop. Ah! That's annoying. Because what I was, the plan was to sub up on his Toxic. As he goes Fortress, and, um, hmm. Actually, there's no reason not to Dragon Dance up. He has to Volt Switch in order to be break my sub. And uh, if I Dragon Dance up, he doesn't have leftovers, obviously, on his Fortress, so. Yeah. So we get this plus swing Gyarados versus anything on his team. So we'll take that. As uh, Entei is going to come out, um, Extreme Speed does not knock me out from that range, I'm pretty sure. But then Chandler has a chance to beat me. I mean, Blissey has a chance to beat me. I'm going for Waterfall anyway. We tank those. Yeah. All right, so Entei's gone. As uh, I'm assuming... Yeah, we can still beat Blissey. We're at 95 HP. Actually, it'll be tough to beat Blissey, but I think we can. I think we can. Bounce is stronger than Waterfall. Yes, it is. Well, so we'll go out to Sceptile. On the Vault Switch. Nice. Get that boost to boost. And Focus Blast kills everything. <laughs> yeah, we'll take that. Let's hit. He actually went out to Blissey, so if this Focus Blast hits, we're, we're good. Nope, of course it doesn't. That was a uh, Specs Focus Blast. That would have done a hell of a lot. Look at that damage. He's going to be able to go for Softballs right now. That's so annoying. Give me this Spadef Drop. I mean, that's Focus Blast, though. But I would have only needed to hit one because Dragon Pulse knocked it out after. And then Subtile won the game. We are hitting, and we get the crit. Some immediate justice right there going on. I can take that. I respect that. And, uh, nice. Some immediate justice. Ooh. The game is good. I repeat, the game is good to me. And, uh, Mega Sceptile coming through right now. Uh, definitely that Blissey caught me off guard. I don't know if Shadow Ball... I, I'm actually gonna check because Shadow Ball and Toxic is such a nice way of dealing with, um, Subcombine Chandelier. No idea that that was even ran. Blissey. What are they run? Yeah, I'll see no Shadow Ball on this. Other options. I mean, uh, the standard isn't always the best, obviously. I'll just go for Dragon Pulse right here. As we were able to knock him out. And that is going to be a good game. So, yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, we are now 1583. Looking good. Looking good. Um, Chandler putting in work. Crocodile putting in work. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, guys, if you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, do your thing. And I will see you guys next time. Cue the outro.